Hello and welcome to an episode of Test Chamber. Today we're checking out NBA 2K17, and in particular, it's my career mode. I'm Brian Shea. We got Matt Burtz here on the sticks. How you doing? Uh, and we are, yeah, we're jumping right in. This is kind of the, the hub area where you can kind of hang out in between games. Um, you've been playing this for quite a while. How many, how many hours do you think you've poured into your career at this point? Uh, career, I don't know, probably 20, 30 games, plus some My Park stuff, uh, some Pro-Am. Okay, so, so a fair amount. I mean, I've been mainlining this game since we got it on Thursday last week. Gotcha. All right, so right now it's just kind of a shoot around with all the other, uh, I guess, are these players on your team? Yeah, so these are my teammates. Uh, we got Denver Le Levins right here who just drove to the hoop. He's kind of the comic relief in the story this year. And then on the other side, uh, we have uh, Justice Young right here who's played by Michael B. Jordan, who you might remember as Wallace from The Wire or Creed from Creed. And he was in Chronicle, too, which is an awesome movie. So they brought some acting chops to the uh, story this year. And one of the things I really like about this mode compared to last year's Spike Lee mess, um, <laughs> you're, you're jumping right into your career. You don't have this weird one full season where they're kind of fast forwarding and telling a story. Yeah, I, I always love the My Career stuff so much. Like no matter what sport it is, like Madden and MLB, I always jump into like the, the player lock career modes. But NBA has always been my favorite. But last year, I completely skipped that mode because of the Spike Lee stuff. I didn't feel like playing a full season under like this guided, like weird story mode. Yeah. So this is, this is you're right into it. You know, you play your co five college games and you're into your season. You can interact with all this stuff. These are all the shoes. I have a shoe <laughs> contract with Jordan. Oh, nice. So uh, that, that's my shoe collection. These are all my accolades I have so far. Now I'm a, I'm actually a fan of like Air Jordans. Do they have like all the old school ones too, or is it like? Yeah, much if you want to look at my uh, inventory here. Oh no, I only have a couple in my park actually. Let's let's go to my NBA shoes. <laughs> And there's a lot of people who are even more into shoes than I could even imagine. But, like, I, I love a good pair of Jordans. Yeah, I mean, I have a ton of Jordans because I signed the contract with yeah. them. You know, I probably have 20, 30 pair that I can wear here. You still have to pay for them to play in my park. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, VC is the big contentious thing that this mode is kind of built on. You know, yeah. your, your guy still starts out abysmally low at 55. <laughs> and then you... uh you know, you have to either spend money to get better or you have to grind and hustle to get better. So let's let's jump in uh, right away. Let's go. I think. Uh, so what team are you on? I'm on the Bucks. All right. <laughs> so if you look like every day you have different stuff that you have to do or that you can do. You don't have to do most of it. Like the practices are optional. You want to do the uh, events because you're going to get money. Mm -hmm. You know, th those are important. The team practice is the one you get in trouble if you skip. So let's just <laughs> quick do this. The, this is an the Allen weird... Iverson mode. Exactly. Practice. <laughs> so this is the weird thing. Like they show this animation and then you come right back and then they're like, here's your money. Weird. It's like, couldn't you have just give me the money? So there's no like cut scene like, oh, here he is at the event talking to people. Not for this one. No, that's so weird. So we did that. We'll go to team practice now. I gotta grab my weird white bag. <laughs> What's in it that looks bag? like I he's got like the big Lebowski dog in there or something. <laughs> this dog has papers. <laughs> so practice is a big deal this year. You know, uh, previous years like last year really focused on off the field stuff. A lot of years have kind of hyped up like getting your endorsements. You know, like meeting other players in the league and that stuff's still here. But they've kind of put the behind the scenes reality of what it's like to be a pro basketball player in this game because you can spend so much time at the gym to hone, hone your game mm. you know when you show up for team practice you're gonna do a couple drills you're gonna be able to like after the practice shoot some free throws that's the only way you can improve your free throw shooting this year i mean that, that i kind of like that but i also kind of hate it like <laughs> the grinding stuff like it's not I mean I'd much rather just jump into games, you know. Yeah. And have my player improve that way. Like in That's in, still how the majority of your skills are improved. So okay. your shoot your three point shooting, your all right, you know, gentlemen. dunking, all this that stuff still costs V C. This is more Basing secondary. Like the only major ones easy, that you really need to worry this. about that are only available in practice roll, is the shoot, free throw okay. shooting, which is oh. makes no sense to me. <laughs> and then um stamina. So these are the kind of drills, and they're they're meant to show you. I actually should have read what I was doing here. Are we doing pick and roll? All right, that's it for today. Keep shooting. If Plus you want one to draw foul. See, this is the weird thing. 
I, so, the, how you get these secondary skills makes no sense to me. <laughs> I, I just skipped a drill that we didn't even do because I didn't read the directions. A, a common uh, occurrence in my life, maybe. <laughs> but I just got a skill upgrade, but I can sit and shoot free throws for 15 minutes and not even get one point. Right, That's weird. Today, yeah, I, I was watching you uh, do some of this stuff Ooh, when you were playing good. for your review, and it totally seemed like there was just this mass confusion about, like, how do you actually improve this stuff, like, reliably? Yeah. So these are the weird kind of... This is the worst gym in the NBA. I don't think <laughs> any team has a gym this terrible. What is the terrible. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so those are the kind of activities that you can do here. And uh, as long as you show up, you can skip out. You don't have to spend a ton of time. I still get credit for being here. Okay. So, and this is the do and work meter, which really only applies when you're... When you've already maxed out all your skills, I guess it raises your attribute cap for some of the skills that you've already maxed out. So is Here. this social media stuff? Yeah, the social media is still how you get a feel for how you're doing. If, are you exciting fans? Is, it, is the media <laughs> coming down on you? All that stuff's kind of here. And the loads are still long. I don't know if it's because the surfer-based stuff, but there's a fair bit of waiting in this game. Yeah, we're just kind of... Hang it. It's been on all 96 is, for a little bit. All we're doing there is we. going back to my crib. Or my court. The crib court, is yeah. old school 2K. <laughs> so this thing's totally upgradable, by the way. I can oh, change, yeah? You can change the color of the, f the floors. You can put a mural on the walls. So this is supposed to be like at your house? Like you have a basketball court at your house? Yeah, and... I'm, a, I'm a pro basketball player with a lot of disposable income. So here we go. Let's <laughs> look at what's going on here. Oh, it's... Okay, so this is kind of, you know, the your job off the court is to go to these endorsement deals. But you want to do those all the time because you get money. Okay. And this is Justice, who's kind of your wingman for the game. Yeah, well, the whole thing is centered around, like, becoming the next dynamic duo. Yeah, exactly. So the new Jordan Pippen, Stockton Malone, you know, Westbrook Durant, whatever you want to call it. I guess that one's done now. But, um... So these are the kind of weird conversations. And you see you have a little bit of choice, but... It's, they're kind of like cardboard cutout choices. They don't really impact the story that much. The story's pretty linear. Just send the sunglass emoji. Yeah, a lot of emoji talk in this this game. <laughs> All right, so let's go get some more money, and then we'll let's get into go a to game. This catering event. So this time nobody came over. So sometimes you get guys from other teams that show up. Huh? You know, I had Demarcus Cousins come over when the Kings were in town. <laughs> so it's kind of a way to like get a little more, bit more starstruck. You That's know, cool. Hanging with some dudes in the the association. So let's go to the game now. And this yeah, is what it's all really about. Let's dive in. So that do and work meter, you can it applies whether you're practicing at your home court, whether you're at practices, whether you're going to the facility in off hours. Mm. So there, there's a lot of opportunity to work on those weird skills, but I just wish it was a little more clear, <laughs> you know, what you're doing. This is a cool thing. So the owner, I, I went out to dinner with the owner, and he gave me control of picking the jerseys for my team. Oh, that's cool. So, so I can like flip can... through, and you have access to all the historical jerseys. <laughs> wonder how often that happens in real NBA. I Probably went to, never. Went to dinner with the owner, and now I can choose every aspect of the team. <laughs> well, I can't choose every aspect, just the jerseys. But. So this is the best-in-class presentation. Mm -hmm. I don't think any sports game is even close to 2K. No, here. And they all look good. They look a little lifeless, but other than that, like... He doesn't have his bow tie, though. There I am, Popeye Jameson. Popeye Jameson. You're not frequency vibrations? No, thank God. But man, they they have really bad nicknames in this series. So this year, your nickname is Prez. Oh. You're, you're the president. Yeesh. And your nickname with your dynamic duo, uh, Justice Young, is Orange Juice, because you put the squeeze on the opposition. Yuck. But there's actually a gameplay mechanic that's tied to that that's pretty empowering, so we'll see if we can get that fired up this game. <laughs> put the squeeze on them. <laughs> That's enough of you, David Yeah, Aldridge. David Aldridge in the game this year instead of Doris Burke there. Doris will still do commentary with the booth every once in a while. They do have dynamic uh, commentary. They guest analysts oh. that will come in. So you'll get like Chris Webber one game and Steve Smith one game. I love the, the commentary in this series. Or not the commentary, the, the presentation. Ooh, bad pick and roll there. 
Leonard and Aldrich, the two stars of the three and the four. So I found, you know, you'll always find somebody that complains about the AI in your, on your team, right? Mm -hmm. I've actually had pretty good luck. So there, there's the orange. If we do like three or four plays, we activate the orange juice. That's when I set up Justice or Justice sets up me. So it's pretty much the NBA 2K version of He's on Fire? Kind of, yeah. But it, it doesn't have to be consecutively. Oh, okay. It can be over the course of it. It'll reset during half times, but you really get a chance uh, to kind of take over two guys then if you get it going. So it's it's a nice little... Oh, that was a bad shot. Let's see if he can shoot it here. Young with the ball. Leonard picks him up. So how did they both land on the same team? Were they both drafted in the like the same year? Or? Yeah, he's kind of the story with Young is that he is the kind of overlooked second round draft pick who's a gym rat. Okay. So he's the guy who kind of has a chip on his shoulder. You're like the lottery pick. Mm. And as you you know spend more time in the gym with him, he kind of embraces you as you know like you two could really do something big together. Gotcha. So is there? Uh, do you have any say on what team you land on, or is it just 100% the draft? It's the draft, but you can request trade still. Oh, come on, Jabari. <laughs> you got to finish when you're in the paint. Yeah, they don't even have Tim Duncan anymore. So they have a lot of the same stuff uh, as other years. You know, like there's the badges that you can unlock. Mm -hmm. But uh, in typical gamer fashion, people find the exploits. You know, and, and <laughs> figure out a way that, how can I get that badge the easiest? So if you read online in a lot of the subreddits, people are saying set it on rookie, set it on 12-minute quarters, and just start, you know, draining threes or dropping dimes, and you're going to unlock the, the skills a lot quicker. <laughs> Shoot it. Like, that takes all the fun out of it for me. Yeah, it takes the sim aspect out for sure. But, you know, like those those badges do impart bonuses when you're in the my park, which is, you know, like the street ball. So that's why people are grinding. That's why people spend all that VC. You know, like the first day, the first hour I loaded this game up, there was already 80s out on the my park. <laughs> you know, with like of crazy top hats and, you know, Technicolor outfits. <laughs> They do not want to run the pick and roll today. Put it back up. Oh, oh come on. So that's actually, that was my fault this year. Uh, usually the, the, the rebounding, you know, like after you rebound and you're in the paint or whether you're driving and doing a layup, it was kind of an automated shot. It just happened. Yeah, it was just jump shots that were timing based, right? Yeah. Now this year, uh, all layups and dunks are also timing based. Oh. So you'll see uh, underneath my ring, where it's green right now, when I actually have the ball, that's going to be my shot meter. So like I said, I skipped the my career last year, but the year before there was this weird, like awkward. I'm sitting on the bench view. Is that still here? Like when you get sent to the bench? Yeah, but like, I mean, you just sim. I I never. Oh yeah, I always do that. But then like, there's this weird moment where it's like a cutscene where he's like, "Oh, time to ball!" Like he gets up and says like some weird corny like phrase. They're like you're in, and he, he like, I don't know. Just... I haven't gotten a lot of that, but your guy says a ton of corny things as you do stuff <laughs> on the court. There's celebrations that you can do after each play, and if you do enough of them, you get the expressive badge, which really doesn't do anything. But you know, people like badges. Yeah, Kawhi Leonard has definitely become a great player. All right. Let's see if my team will run a pick and roll this time. Actually, I don't have to. So outside of this mode, when you're playing, do the Warriors just dominate? I mean, they have four 90-rated players. I, I think the most any other team has is two. They are a dominant team, but you got to remember this game also has 45 classic teams. Ah. So if you're playing head-to-head -head and someone is going to cheese with the Warriors, you do have, you can pull out MJ's teams, you can pull out Magic's teams, you know. 
there are other teams that you can bring out that will compete with them at some to some degree. So I know that uh, Charles Barkley is in the game in the Dream Team, but he refuses to be on like the classic Suns teams. Yeah, that really doesn't make sense to me. Why? Why would he not want to have the Sixers or the Suns teams? Yeah, I don't. I don't get it. See, this is cool. I like this new showing you what people are tweeting from the crowd. That is cool. If you have a thunderous dunk or a like crippling three pointer, you're just gonna see. And even if you uh, if you hit a double double, you'll see your uh, fan meter go up like a thousand. Like in the game? Yeah, that's awesome. Parker's got his first basket of the night. I love like the real time updating of like what your grade is for the game. Yeah, it's and they've gotten it so much better. It's it doesn't punish you as badly for like one mishap that as you know previous games did. Oh yeah, definitely. Like I be doing great and then like you know i take a bad shot and it's like drops me down almost a full letter grade or something i couldn't believe he uh monroe couldn't get tony through tony parker on that uh pick and roll there <coughs> the pick and roll is a lot harder to pull off this year than it has been oh. in previous years that's a total defensive breakdown <laughs> Oh, come on, oh. Justice. Here's Tedman. The rebound by the Bucks. They're coming off that win against the Nets. They just weren't challenged. I mean, nearly as much as they should have been in that game. At least there's a three. Yeah, it was a mismatch. I mean, the defense from the start was on its heels practically the entire game. Young against Parker. The dish to Leonard. There you go. Oh, thought you had a break. Puts it up. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. And he's really been working to get those looks. And it's now. I think we need one, at least one more bucket between Justice and I before we can unlock the the good stuff. The orange juice squeeze. Yeah, the worst name ever, but it's <laughs> it's pretty cool to be able to control two players at once. It's a, it's like a one button alley, -oop, one button pass and shoot. Huh. Or you can swap and just become Justice for a little bit if you want. That's pretty cool. Parker with it. And Young picks him up defensively. I like the way you actually see the fans like stomping their feet as opposed to just hearing it. Yep. They actually went to all the arenas in the NBA to capture unique kind of vibe from each one. Huh. Yeah, they're, they're definitely kind of in a class of their own. Yeah, I'm always surprised when I see people kind of talk shit about this game in terms of its presentation. I, I really, there, no one else is even in the same league as far as yeah. I'm concerned. You know, Madden got Madden, a lot better yeah. this year with its uh, commentary, mm -hmm. but there's still weird cutscenes that you see in that game. Oh yeah, and I've had so many weird glitches in Madden, and I mean, I think it seemed like the worst thing that you had in terms of glitches was like some weird player clipping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a lot more clipping this year. Um, I think part of that has contributed to the fact that there's more physicality, you know, off the ball than there typically is. Mm -hmm. You're going to see a lot of guys, you know, as you're trying to cut through the lanes, they're going to brush up against you and impede you more than they did in past games. Gotcha. Ah, you were dancing along the uh, out-of-bounds line there. Oh, I thought I had him there. Now, the big problem I've had with Madden commentary is like the repeated lines. Uh, do you have a lot of that in this? Like, You're going to have it just because there are so many, you know, like they have more to say about more players than any other game. So when they return to a guy, you know, like uh, Greg Monroe or somebody, you're going to hear the same thing again. Sure. When they kind of go into their, you know, long winded discussion of his pros and cons. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's a way to get around that in sports games yet. Yeah, I think they just, I mean, until they can record hours upon hours upon hours of more commentary than they already have, like, that's the only way around that. But who's going to be the franchise to pour that much, like, of a budget into commentary? Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, the old man uh. taking me to school. <laughs> so what are you, a shooting guard? I'm a, a, I'm a three, yeah. So I'm a small forward. I'm the smallest small forward you'll ever see because <laughs> I'm only 6'5", so I give up a lot of height on the wing. So do players have, like, uh, 
like templates like so if you're a center do you have to be like 6'10 or bigger or is it like you could be a, a 7 foot 2 point guard you can be a 7 foot 2 point guard but you're going to have huge limitations on a, a bunch of your skills oh 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 there we go hey. we didn't get the orange though no I did I, that was kind of a ball hog moment there at the end of the uh, so shot clock when you do something like that obviously you see the stuff at the top where it adds like or you got plus 7 VC for that or whatever does it give you like real time tracking of alright you need to hit this many more shots from the corner in order to unlock this badge Like no the badges are still obfuscated from the players which is why there's all these subreddits where people are kind of trying to figure out what's going on like how many <laughs> how many shots from the corner do you need to like get the corner shot that's so weird like that's what i love about like like achievements for example for some games like they'll tell you you need you know 25 more headshots in order to get this achievement like yeah. i love that just like just the real time like notifications it would be nice to have that but i i guess they feel like that's all people would pay attention to then and it, it I don't know. I, I'm actually going to talk to them on Friday and maybe they'll shed light on why they keep it so in the dark. <laughs> oh, man. Triple team on Parker. Left my assignment for the rebound. Didn't get burned. Blocking? That was on me? That was charging. charging? I don't think his feet were planted. Yeah, that was a ticky-tacky call that... I'm getting no respect as a rookie. Is what's happening here. <laughs> is that a thing that they can do now, or like if you're like an established player, you get more benefit of the doubt calls? Well, that's how the real NBA works. I don't think this game. I mean, works like that necessarily. A lot of sports work that way. Yeah, really. NFL is definitely that way. Except for Cam Newton. <laughs> for some reason, that dude can get hit in the face a bunch of times, and they won't call anything. <laughs> Was that pop? Yeah, that was pop. Eh, it doesn't. That's not a great pop. <laughs> that's the other thing that Madden and 2K have in common is they have amazing player models, but the coaches could probably use a little bit of work. Yeah. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, you can't leave a guy like that open. I got lucky there. This is what I love a lot about the commentary when they reference other games that have happened. Yep. They're so aware. They're so aware of what's happening in the league, too. Like, they'll track your last five games trying to, you know, like, pick the pocket of people, your steals to fall ratio versus, mm. you know, the season to see if you're trending in a good direction or a poor direction. Do they bring up other games that are unrelated to this? Like, do they. Oh, yeah. So they'll, yeah, they'll say, like, oh, LeBron James scored 40 or something. They'll, they'll tell you, like, uh, you know, here's the next five games that this team's going to have to play. You know, they're going on the road here. You know, or uh, next time we uh, broadcast, these two teams are going to be on for the Thanksgiving game. You know, stuff like that. Parker. Mm -hmm. I forget which NCAA game it was. It was one of EA Sports, but they had a, a college hoops game where I just the atmosphere was intense. Like you'd hear the crowd and you'd see them jumping up and down in the background, like during big moments. And I've never seen a, like a professional sports game match that intensity of like the crowd. And this is probably the closest I've seen. Like where like they're just really into it and chanting and everything constantly. This is one of the things that's annoying a lot of people. So this guy's the assistant coach, but he's doing all the coaching all the time. Wasn't that the way it was in past years, too? Yeah. So, you know... So they didn't get all the head coaches to come in and voice. Exactly. Hey, thanks, Kevin. Great run for you in these last few games. You kept it going so far. We're at halftime now? Yep. Oh, because you, uh, you took a seat. <coughs> Not now. Not ever, man. You know? Uh, this is the new standard. And it's, uh, it's really only going to get better second half, man. Uh, you saw how I've been breaking fools off these last few games. <laughs> <laughs> how is that mic picking him up from that far away? It's a loud arena. Yes, I felt you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, that, that was pretty bad. That was really rough. And he's very satisfied with himself. Look at that. Look at that smile. 
He's just happy to be in the game. <laughs> so there's also halftime talks. So you, you, you see a lot more. The same crew. A lot oh, more this time with your team, you know, kind of behind the scenes. I thought you meant like a halftime show with Shaq and... and no, they do a post-game show, though. So let's just skip ahead a little bit in the game and uh, check some other stuff out. All right, so we wrapped up a game. I guess let, let's just take a look at a little bit of the uh, stuff you can buy with your VC this year. They've added yeah. a, kind of a lot of stuff. Well, I, sh I saw you earlier playing, like, like doing sprints and stuff like that. Like, are there a whole lot of those? Like, you were, like, tapping the triggers to make your guy sprint back and forth on the court? There's sprints. There's agility drills. There's verticals. There's, like, the box jump. There's those are all, like, different mini games. Weightlifting, yeah. There's uh, hand-eye coordination stuff. A lot of little weird mini games. And the drills that the coaches and players run, there's a lot of those, too. So if you're into the practice, they give you a lot more variety than I expected. Okay. But I think we got a Jordan event coming up here, so they usually pay pretty well. We should have some money to spend. Yo, Prez. What's up? You good? Yeah, I'm good, D. You need anything? D, I'm fine. What's up, man? I mean, are you, are you sick? D. All right, man, I'm just trying to make sure you're okay. I'm just trying to make sure you're good. Just, uh, I'm just in a little bit of a rut. That's it. Okay. Well... If you need anything, just make sure you know I'm here for you. Dude, now you're stressing me out, man. <laughs> I'm not trying to stress I'm fine. you out. Okay. All right. <laughs> What's happening? Out, man. My bad. I'm cool. You cool? I'm cool. We cool. I guess I'm in a bit of a rut. Even though you were just, just the player number of the one game. score. Dang. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Let's see what I got for a message here. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> that was it. You're, you'll see a lot of this. This is throughout the season you know just, just people interacting with you who's ronnie 2k ronnie 2k is the you don't know who ronnie 2k is no he's, he's their social media guy oh boy you actually talked to the social media guy in the game yeah all right here comes the the team wanting to hoop but we're not gonna hoop we're gonna go get some money gonna get paid all right go get your little weird white bag yep Gotta grab the dog. <laughs> it totally just looks like a bowling bag. It really does. <laughs> oh, oh look bring at that! It. Not bringing the bag. I mean, it's a Jordan event. What what could he really need? Exactly. He's got shoes on. Oh, that was nothing. My first one was 4K. Wow. All right. But let's go into the store. Let's look at what we can do here. So this is. You see how it starts on purchase. Another annoyance. <laughs> like, they're just like, please, you know you want to. Yeah, there's... I mean, Forza kind of has some weird uh, weird things like that, too. It's not like starting you on purchase, but, like, you can buy, like, different horns yep. for your cars. It's there, There's some weird stuff there, but uh, this seems like it's a little bit more gratuitous. So, you see, these are the two badges I've unlocked. And uh, as a sharpshooter, these are the ones that I can take from bronze to silver and gold. Okay. And they just, like, give you that little bit of extra boost that you need to, you know, sink those shots. So a corner specialist, you know, draining those threes from the corners, this is going to help me a lot. So you just bought this upgrade to silver. Yep. Is uh, is there, like, a way you can earn it? Like the silver you upgrade? Earn the, you earn the bronze, and you can only... I don't know if you can earn the silver or the gold. I actually would have to look into that, but I think I want these two. Uh, but let's save some money. Um... So park cards are these weird bonuses that you can bring to the street ball stuff. I haven't spent any money on this stuff. I'm not interested in it, to be honest. Um, this is also where you you drive up your skills. So uh -huh. as a sharpshooter, you can see I have the certain caps. I can only spend up to here. So like my max speed is going to be 79 for mm. my guy's career. Wow, for your entire career? So I can't get any better? Well, as you practice, you can lift attribute caps oh okay bit. so there is a way to get yourself a little bit higher and then this is where it gets crazy like so my court i can go in here you know buy a wall mural buy some floors oh that's cool there's all kinds of options here i like that to do some cool stuff here you know like they even have like there's the bill walton one the tie-dye <laughs> uh they have these weird internal ones there's one that's space your my park courts if you want to bring one of those over here uh a bunch of different stuff the wall murals are pretty cool 
And jewelry, of course. Why wouldn't you want to yeah. buy jewelry? So these are like, if I want a nice Christmas scene in my <laughs> my court, I can have it. So you should get an Oklahoma City Thunder mural for your your Bucks court. My Bucks court, yeah. yeah. Just to piss off my teammates. <laughs> so like, okay, here I got cufflinks. So when do you wear earrings. these, though? This is when you're in the park. So if I want to be sophisticated, I can put on some shades. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. Yeah, it's pretty funny. So all kinds of stuff to spend money on, you know, like your your clothing. They have the branded Mitchell and Ness stuff and NBA stuff. This is kind of the generic <laughs> clothes if you want to wear something that's a little more basic. So you just you can. There's a, a lot of dudes shirt. rocking top hats and like suits in my park. <laughs> Cuz of course there are. But yeah, this is kind of, you know, the the quick look at what's going on here with the uh my player which is Probably the most addictive of the modes, but it's certainly mm. not the only good mode. You know that you can spend a lot of time in my GM this year. They've done a lot of cool things, like being able to, you know, expand the league to up to 36 teams, adding six oh, teams nice. to the league. Uh, they've changed a lot of the hardcore rules, so you can do things like you know trading regardless of what state you're in in the off season. So a lot of games, you know, they don't let you trade during the draft, or you mm -hmm. can't trade before the draft, or before free agency. This year, whenever it is, you can pull off trades, and the teams are smart enough to know. This is what we're going to have on our roster. These are the guys we're going to try to sign in free agency. So I will or won't be, you know, interested in that trade. Wow. Yeah, I, I can't wait to dive into this. I'm a little preoccupied with some other games right now, but I've already got my copy and downloaded it already. So I'm this this only got me more excited. So thanks for showing us around. Uh, I think that's a pretty good look at my career. And uh, join us next time on an episode of Test Chamber.